Okie dokie. So, I need to, I just factory reset my phone, uh, restarted it, put in the GPP SIM with my T-Mobile SIM card, and now I need to, I'm going to go try to uh, reinstall the PC software. So mine's an R SIM card. Uh, it's a China 3 GPP card, and so I go to, I went to www.rsim5.com. Uh, to the download page and then I'm going to download <coughs> the software. They have two different software here. One that was purchased from June 22nd to July 20th. I'm not sure which one to run so I'm going to just run the first one. Hopefully it doesn't break my phone. Um, so waiting for that to download. Previously, I tried running uh, the Neater Team patch, but when I tried running it, I needed an activation code, and my original activation code didn't work with that because obviously it's not the same GPP sim. Okay, now that's downloaded, I can show in folder, copy that. paste it to the desktop and let me go run it run the program it's gonna take a while while it boots up so I get the screen where it says my device name device type is iPhone 4 comma 1 firmware is 6.1 3 baseband is 3.40 and even tells if it's jailbroken or not. So the device is found over here. So I'm going to go ahead and install because I've already activated this GPP sim. It shouldn't have to ask me for anything. Next step eventually a pop up appears over here and it's asked for which carrier you're using. Usually you just put Unicom. From what I know, a uh, pop up will eventually appear on your phone. Let me zoom into this text box over here. It's installing the software. Eventually, a pop up will appear onto here and it'll say, uh, Ask me to install the carrier information. Some people say you don't have to install it. on the phone part and it should work so over here it finally says success at the bottom it says please reboot, reboot your device uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop my recording over here as you can see it says it's successful and then I'm gonna show the phone over here where it says the APN okie dokie let me go unplug the phone unzoom this a little bit so you can see uh, some people say you don't have to install this instead you can just restart the phone. Um, this doesn't seem right because it says KDDI. Um, I'm going to restart the phone anyways. I'm going to restart the phone. And see what happens. I don't think I installed the right software. Let's 
So unlock my phone. So it's searching on the top over here. Searching. Searching. Hopefully find something. My problem was I didn't save the software when I should have. Um, the Amazon seller is no longer around. I think they sent me a different website. So it's still searching. I guess you just keep on waiting. It says no service. That's not good. So settings. I'm gonna turn on, turn off. It was saying no service over here. No service still. So that didn't work. <clears throat> 